My name is Evan Pedromo. I'm the founder and CEO of StatusNet Inc. And I'm the original developer of the StatusNet software. Our project is uh, software to create uh, microblogging servers so people can use our software to set up sites similar to Yammer or Twitter, sharing short messages with their social network. So we originally developed this software for the LAMP stack and uh, it did not work initially on, on IIS. Um, we had a number of customers who were using and installing our software and asking for help getting it working on IIS. Um, and we had customers who were passing on our software because it didn't work on IIS. So we really thought there was a need for us to lower the friction of adoption for those customers and, and get our product into their hands. So um, we were uh, really lucky. We were, we, we were um, uh, lucky to get some outreach from Microsoft about our product and uh, got a lot of help in uh, bringing the software to, um, to IIS. It, uh, it wasn't easy. I think uh, our, our software has a lot of dependencies on parts of the uh, Linux, Unix ecosystem. Um, it is high performance software that needs a lot of, um, uh, a, a lot of speed um, and uh, has a lot of uh, requirements for data sharing. Um, but we, uh, we were able to find equivalents for what we had in the LAMP world um, in the IIS world. So uh, piece by piece, we were able to kind of put that together and make a, uh, make a piece of software that worked for us. Well, uh, you know, I, I think that I'd like to say that it took a lot of hard work and we had to really push really hard. I, I think that the, the, the biggest difficulties were adopting our software to the IIS platform, but really, you know, we've, we've had a really uh, nice time working with people from Microsoft and getting the um, software in. Uh, we were able to, uh, you know, have help from interoperability people at Microsoft to, uh, to um, kind of pave the way to get the uh, software in. And uh, we were you know, introduced to people uh, in developer relations to get uh, help on the porting process, um, information about the, uh, about the platform, about the equivalent services. Um, so it's been, you know, I, I, talking to other people who are working there, we, we almost feel like we cheated our way in. It, it, it was easier than I would have uh, expected. And I'm really glad that we've got it done now. It's so, uh, a different, different parts. One is that we were, um, uh, Microsoft arranged for us to have uh, Windows servers available that we could test our software on, develop on, and, and test our software on. So that was really helpful. Um, also, we were able to, like I said, get access to uh, developer, uh, developer relations people who were able to give us the answers we needed for um, tricky porting problems. When we were looking for equivalents for different kinds of um, uh, services, we were able to get in there, and we could find out, you know, some of the some of the tricky parts. So that's been great. And uh, you know, whenever we had questions or or um, issues or or suggestions, we were able to, you know, really get people on the other end of the phone and or other end of email and, and get the support we needed.